What's up, Hyper Fascination? This episode is coming to you from Colorado Springs, Colorado, at the Hyper Fast Agent Mastermind. We have one of our coaching clients here. He has more than tripled his team's volume in the last year. Welcome to the show, Tyler Antrican. All right, welcome to the show today, Thank Tyler. You. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, you've managed to triple your sales volume um, in a market that's not super high price points, right? Just kind of medium. Yep. I think we we're talking about before the show, like four hundred, low four hundred. Four, right? like four hundred to about four fifty is that median range for our Charlotte area. We're actually a little bit north of Charlotte, uh, so we do Greater Charlotte and a little bit. Um, but that's about the average. But from t- yeah, so from 2021 to 2022, mm-hmm. you are on pace to triple the volume. Yeah, right? and this is in a time when interest rates are higher, market's not as frothy as it was a yep. year ago. It's kind of like a normal market right now, right? Like we don't exactly know where it's yeah. going to go. There's lots of different theories on there, but uh, for sure, a lot of agents are doing less. You're doing more, 300 percent more. How'd you do it? So before I got involved with HyperFast, every bit of business that I had was sphere of influence, friends of friends, Facebook, all of that. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I, that's how it's been. I've, but you, I knew that at a certain point, your sphere is only gonna take you so far. So I knew I needed something that was gonna give me that boost. Um, so this year we've got into some, some good paid lead sources and that's how we're continuing to grow and we're on, we're on track. What have you uh, noticed in terms of difference between that SOI type leads and the paid ones? Like how how are those different? How do you handle them? Oh, the SOI is so much easier. Right. They already know you. If it's a listing appointment, you just walk in. You don't have to present anything. They already know who you are. They feel like they're already in a relationship with you. Whereas these paid leads, you have to chase them. Right. You can't just call them one time and set up a showing or you're gonna get people that are ready to buy a house right now. You have people that are six to 12 months out, so you have to really dial in that follow-up and figure out, okay, I have these leads, how am I gonna follow up with them? And how am I gonna stay consistent and follow up? What um, what type of follow-up do you do and how do you systemize it? So we do what we lovingly call 10 days of hell, where we will, <laughs> we will call for 10 days we will work to get your time frame, your motivation, and then we will switch you to a different lead category. So hot, cold, warm, whatever that may be. Um, but we stay on you for 10 days and we will call, text, email, call, text, email. Who's doing that on the team? I say agents. The agents. agents. Yep, it's agent based at this point. And how are you tracking that with, with database? We have reporting um, through our follow up boss, CRM, that we're, we're loving right now. We just made the switch a couple months ago and it's been the best CRM that we've ever had. Um, what, what does the follow-up look like after that 10 days? Does it kind of depend on- After the 10 days, they going? yep, so they will fall off a little bit, mm-hmm. but we have an AI system that will continue to reach out to them, and then the moment they pop back up, pop back up, we get a notification, and then 10 days basically restarts for us. Do you have any idea on, right now, how many, um, closings you get from let's say 100 leads we i would say right now since we're so new into the paid lead sources that we don't really have that that data yet um we've been pleasantly surprised with how many leads we have and know that just by rule of rule of thumb that they're going to close at least 10 of those will will close so if we can get at least 10 percent, then we'll be we don't want those how many of you any idea how many You've closed since you started, you know, the, the paid leads? Were? We haven't closed any yet. Okay. So we just started probably two months ago. So we were two months into Wailopo, and once we made that move to Wailopo, that was when we made the move to follow Boss too. Okay. So a lot of new stuff all at once. And you're getting a lot of buyer showings, listings. We are, yeah. Right? So each one of the agents has been out with, with someone. We've had, we've got a couple buyer agencies signed already. We've written a couple offers for some. We have some potential listings coming up, so we've been knock on wood. They've been really, really good leads. So where, where did the the three X 
you know, increase in volume come from? Was it all SOI open houses and past clients? It or was. How did you get to there? I think it was SOI. Yeah. Um, we just got more strategic with Facebook and getting to know people in our local areas. Um, and I brought on a DOO, a director of ops, and to optimize that and to utilize that in the business was probably one of the best things because now I have a consistent follow-up plan. Prior to that, my, my follow-up was in my head. And I like I knew who I needed to reach out to. I right. Just, That'll work, but you for, can't for so long, long, right? No. Yeah. And then um, I came to a high profess event in Florida and thought, man, all right, I feel like I'm sitting in the right spot at the right time. I feel like I need to really get into these paid lead sources. And then signed up for it's very distracting <laughs> and it's honestly it's changed my, my mindset on how to run a business I feel like I'm more equipped to run a business and feel like I can truly scale it now so a lot of this initial increase came from just really mining your existing your database, database right? past clients so I've been in business since 2015 and I've had a lot of people that are starting to roll back over so they're ready to move up they're ready to sell where they are now so we've been able to capitalize on from that and luckily, I've followed up with them, and we just we've maintained the the relationship. Hold that thought for a second. Did you know I've been involved in developing and building hundreds of homes? And did you know that we take partner investors in our deals? If you want to learn about new opportunities that we have for real estate investors, go to my Instagram account. It's the Dan Lesniak and send me a direct message. Again, if you wanna learn about my next opportunities for real estate investor partners, go to my Instagram at ddanlesniak and send me a direct message. Well, I, I really like that that increase came from that, but then at the same time, you're building this whole new pillar through yeah. paid leads. I think, you know, if you wanna scale and build a team, I, I, you know, I think, in most cases, you got to do both. I haven't seen a ton of models where where people no. built out teams and did it without you know paid yeah. marketing, right? Well, and we had a pillar. It was SOI, but then we needed. If I wanted to continue to grow this team to where I want it to go, I need additional pillars of leads. So we've we've now transitioned over to more open houses and getting more strategic with marketing. That was like last weekend we had one. I think we had 25 to 30 people in. Um, so we're doing open houses, YLOPO, we're gonna start working on corporate accounts um, and really just stay focused on our on our SOI team. Yeah, and the, the, the cool thing about having multiple pillars of business is like if one goes away, mm -hmm. you know, you've got other things to rely on, right? Like if you yep. if you've built out your SOI, your past clients, uh, you know, paid sources, corporate accounts, mm -hmm. like if, if the paid sources change their formula and yep. it's good, but you have the corporate accounts or you still have something that investors, right? Or, fall back on. Yeah. So I think for teams, multiple pillars are great, uh, paid sources to grow and scale. Mm -hmm. But then the important thing is like you, you got a three X just by going back into your existing database. I think right now with, you know, the market, uh, Shifting, cooling off, higher interest rates, agents panicking. Now's a good time for agents to like double down yeah. on those cheaper, easier, more efficient yeah. sources. Like go it's mine free. your database. Like right? go make go make friends. Like I've I've joined a bunch of mom groups. Um, I'm not a mom, but I thought you know I'm, I'm a parent. I'm running the same race as you. Um, and then that's been this like treasure trove. You just ask for people for recommendations or you contribute on something that they're looking for and they instantly become friends and they feel connected to you. They then get to know you via social media so they feel like they already know you and they just become a big fan of yours. Yeah, what, what are some of the ways that you have stayed in front of your SOI, past clients and gotten more business from them? Gifting. We Gifting. love to gift. Yeah, we will do the cheesiest gifts and we're... Prior to the DOO stepping in, I was very random about it. But now that we are systemized, we we hit birthdays, we hit anniversaries, we hit kids' birthdays, we hit, like if you lose a loved one, we're, we're there for you. So just consistent ways to show up for those, those SOI people. They remember that because you took time to really think about them, they're gonna be, they're gonna shout you out to everybody. 
And are, are you doing events as well? No. no. So I know yeah. that being here, we're going to get pushed to do some, some events. So my goal is an event next month. Okay. And then continue to roll that out because I have that middle school birthday party thing where I'm like, I'm going to invite people. Nobody's going to show up. But I gotta get over that. I mean, people are gonna show up. They're gonna show up for a good time because you're offering something, you're offering an experience. Um, so we're gonna roll out some events. We're pretty excited about them. So your team now, you, you got yourself, the director of operations, mm -hmm. three agents. Who's your next hire? Next hire, I, I don't know. I think it's probably gonna be another agent just based on the amount of leads that we have, it, have coming in. I'm really looking for a partner agent, but just trying to hire for that role has been really, really tough for me because I really want that person to reflect me. I want to be able to really feel like I, I jive with the, the person because they're going to be working all of my, my SOI. So I right. want that person to feel like they're essentially getting someone similar to me. Um, so agent, partner agent, those are probably our next two. What, um, I, I'm kind of surprised you didn't say inside sales agent. So, so teetering on that too, yeah. because hold that thought for a second. Are you a new real estate agent looking to jumpstart your career? Or perhaps you are an experienced agent looking to build and scale and get to the next level. If you are, I've got great news for you. After building and scaling multiple real estate businesses, I am now taking my real estate team to all 50 states. In fact, it's going to be international. I'm going to offer cutting edge technology, training in lead generation, team building, investing, and additional opportunities to build revenue streams. If you are interested and want to learn more about this opportunity, send me a text message directly to my cell phone, 703-638-4393. Again, text me at 703-638-4393. Real estate agents, myself included in that, we don't like to make the cold calls. Right. Because there's like this funky mindset around it where you either have to shift the mindset or you have to find someone to make those calls for you. So an, an ISA is on the radar. I don't know enough about it. I'm hoping to gain some insight while I'm, I'm here just to kind of figure out what that is going to look like. Because we've had, we had an ISA in the past, but it was not a good experience. But I also didn't think I knew also don't think I knew what I was doing. It would, it would, if you run the numbers on it, <clears throat> just high level, at your price point, the base salary that you probably have to pay them and then the bonus per mm -hmm. closings, they probably only need to book four appointments that, that close in a year That's to kind of pay for the, to cover yeah. their salary, right? And then everything above that is just extra return yeah. to you. Um, it's a it's a tough role for people to start off. You know, the people that get good at it can make six figures and never yeah. have to show a client or go to a yeah. meeting. So there's you know, there's like the agent mentality, like I wanna be with you for mm -hmm. the whole transaction, yeah. right? But then there's uh, the and, and I'll make two, three hundred, right? Uh, you know, maybe more. But then there's this ISA mentality yeah. where I just wanna Get you on the phone, book an appointment. follow up, book an appointment, and yeah. move on. And yeah. I don't have to worry about writing a contract at yeah. you know, 9 o'clock on Saturday. I think that's Saturday. something that, that we need. Yeah. Because the busier that we get, the more we're going to be out with another buyer or with a seller. So we need someone that's going to continue to make those calls for us. And, and um, yeah, I mean, the, just numbers-wise, it takes, you know, a couple appointments, depending on your price point market, that, that actually yeah. close pay for their like yearly salary um you know so our, our suggestion is always like go out and hire two because because one one won't, won't make it won't make it yeah right or, or typically won't so uh but yeah with the incoming leads you've got four three agents yourself mm -hmm. like that extra person calling could just it would be a big help because people i think ultimately <laughs> i want to be out of lead flow and i want to be able to continue to grow the business um so i think and I say it would make a lot of sense. Just figuring out the who and the what and the, and the how. So, all right. Before we wrap up, I was into the hyper fast round. If you're ready for some rapid fire Q and A, I think so. All right. What's your biggest piece of advice to a new agent? Biggest piece of advice to a new agent is join a team and be yourself. Be consistent. What's the most common mistake experienced agents make? Not following up. 
biggest challenge you've had in the business and how you overcame it? Um, consistent follow-up. Right. What uh, are you most likely doing when you're not working on the business? Hanging with the family. We have three little ones and they're probably running us ragged. So <laughs> that's, that's it. Three kids feels like a thousand. All right. Last question. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years, I see myself with a team of agents and continuing doing what I'm doing, but at a much higher level. All right, well, thank you for being on the thank show. You. Before we sign off, if people want to get in touch with you about buying or selling a home, or yep. agents want to connect with you, yep. social media, any of that. Facebook.com slash Tyler Antrican Broker. Instagram, Tyler Antrican. All right. All right. Well, follow Tyler on Facebook it. and Instagram. To all of our listeners and viewers out there, thank you for tuning in. Please share this episode with other real estate agents or people that you know benefit from listening or watching. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure and go to hyperfastagent.com to learn about upcoming in-person and online events. And don't forget to share this show with someone that you think could benefit from hearing it and make sure you subscribe on YouTube or anywhere that you can find podcasts. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Hyper Fat Show. Subscribe to us if you want to make sure you get the latest and greatest Hyper Fat Shows. And remember, we love reviews. Reviews help us bring better and better guests and improve our shows. So give us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to see more, click right here. And if you want 100 real estate tips from my best-selling book, click right here to download them instantly. And if you're new to this channel, click below to subscribe.